Hello? Can I ride? Please? You can ride the jellyfish. Oh God, that's very weird. That is an awkward flight. What in the world? <laughs> Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everyone. Jason here with our Polestar Expedition Guide. In the last episode, we got our awesome uh, crashed ship. We got one and we recycled it. That way we can clear out all that stuff in Rendezvous 4. But I mean, we cleaned up all of uh, phase three and all of phase two. If you missed that, go back there and watch those episodes. The, the, just get it all knocked out. It's gonna be super easy. But in this episode, we're gonna go to Rendezvous 4, get that log entry and complete phase four and then finish off phase five and we will be done with the expedition. So let's jump in there and get it done. Actually, we don't even need to do that. I forgot. I keep forgetting you guys. We could teleport right over to our freighter and we are using our freighter to uh, warp to different systems. So why not just warp over there? Let's go over there. And again, I love the fact that the loading times in system, when you're in the system with your uh, freighter anyway, are so quick. Look at this. This is not sped up or anything. It is just like, what, five seconds. Look at that, done and done. That's so freaking awesome. And it's only when you're in the system. If you're transferring between systems, of course. What is this? Uh-oh, what's going on here? Is it, oh no, is it damaged? Oh, I, I knew he was gonna get damaged. Uh, take another 11 hours. All right, oh, I'll come back, we'll come back. I have a feeling that frigate's not gonna make it. I, I did send him out, it was a, a C-class. I knew he was gonna get damaged. He might not make it back though, that's okay. We have other freighters or frigates, so we're good. All right, so let's head over to that uh, fourth rendezvous. Oh man, our warp. All right, you know, one of these days I'll make an updated, you know, I'll upgrade my warp, my warp drive. All right, well, I'll see you guys when we get there. All right, guys, we are one jump away. And let me show you what I was doing because I am not a very smart man. I was just following that green line. You see, it says current mission done. No, that's not your current mission. My mission switched. And so I'm going the opposite way. Make sure the top of the screen, it says expedition route. It can't be current mission, expedition route. You want to make sure it's the expedition. I was going the wrong way for about half that time. I wasted a whole bunch of time. But we got back on track, so here is the rendezvous number four location. Holy crap. I can't believe I wasn't paying attention for that. I did like five jumps before I realized, oh, I'm going the wrong direction. <laughs> oh my God. Wasted all that fuel for nothing. All right. And since we're here, we're gonna get our log, our captain's log from here. So let's do that real quick. Before we go down to the planet, of course, as always, except for that one time that I messed up. All right. <laughs> Date stamp 1828.6. Arrived in the Yoyad 2 system. As we uh, cross another sector boundary, we permit ourselves to reflect on our very first departure. Our own homeworld turned against us. We had learned what it could not. It's gravity, it's molten core, it's slow decay towards impersonal doom. Our makeshift fleet was incomplete, so few of the pods loaded. The shockwave consumed those in low orbit, scattered the rest of us. The fire, the chaos, the... So basically, you're Superman! Is that what I'm getting from here? Krypton was exploding and you left? I think that's what's going on here. We are uh, Kryptonians. We are Superman and Supergirl, Superwoman. I don't know what you... I have no idea. I don't know comic stuff. But I know Superman came from a planet that, uh, you know, imploded on itself, right? Holy cow. Oh, yeah, we got to get our reward. I'm so distracted by Superman. I didn't do that. Yes. We got our underwater upgrade in a green color. So there we go. Underwater protection module. We can only... Yeah, we only need one. And they give you two. You only need one. So, I mean, you can get rid of it. You can sell it. Whatever you want to do. Um, oh yeah, we got over a hundred. Okay, you only hold a hundred life support gels. Ah, oh yeah, we gotta make sure we're locked on to rendezvous four. <laughs> Don't mess up like me and try and assume it's already there. Let's go see what the heck is going on with this uh, paradise planet with the rendezvous. Yep, and it looks like this one is underwater just like the last few were. So we're gonna have to land on 
some kind of a yeah you see how it disappeared it was there but you gotta land on some land actual dirt can i land on this i wonder not clear it's not good enough uh they're gonna make you land all the way over here aren't they yeah you need some uh dirt that is sticking up above the water dang it yep look at that perfect so i need to call in my submarine but thankfully we have the exocraft uh materializer so all you have to do is call in your submarine right there done and so we'll just fly right or uh, swim what is it uh fly um i don't know what it is we are going to submarine on over there <laughs> i don't know what it is float sail it's not sail isn't sail above the water i don't know i am not a uh a navy guy so i have no idea <laughs> Oh, well, we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it over there. So let's see. The one thing I hate is that we don't have a uh, scanner in the submarine, so it's gonna be difficult to see where we're going. So I'm about to pop out. See, we're 450 feet away from it. All right, just keep heading that direction. Keep going forward. Let's go up a little bit. That way, I don't crash into all the stuff on the ground. Oh yeah, there's a big thing right here. Anyway. All right. But yeah, there's no like scanning. You don't, they don't give you a scanner in the uh, submarine by default. So you can put one in there, but you don't get one. So uh, it's kind of a pain. All right, we got it. Done and done. So we've done phase four. Look at that, phase four is complete. So now we're just jumping right over to phase five. I'm gonna, I'm gonna accept my rewards and stuff when I get into my ship. That way I can just get it done and over with. Dang it. Oh, yeah, we got up there. Up, almost. And we fall back into the water. That's okay. All right, let's accept that reward. Thank you. Beautiful. Let's go back to our freighter. Now that we've gotten all of phase four completed super quick, we have our uh, fleet commander's cape. Oh, we have that fleet commander cape. Very awesome. Call in our uh, frigate right here because I'm too lazy to go all the way over there to get it. So we have everything here. Oh, we have a multi tool expansion slot and a cargo bulkhead. You can use those for your frigate or your freighter to add more uh, inventory space. So let's go do that real quick while we're here. And we need to warp to number five. We need to get to the fifth rendezvous. Let's pop in here. Go to our upgrade menu right there. Nope, not freighter warp right over here. There you go. Upgrade guy. Add additional storage. We got one. <laughs> okay. Hey, one is better than none, I guess. All right. And remember, keep that expedition route at the top of your screen or else you're going to go the wrong way like I did. And it's going to screw up your whole thing. Uh, temporal warp computer. Oh, yeah. If you don't have the right shielding for your warp drive, you can't go to these colored systems. But... Don't you worry about that. You'll find another one right here. So if you're locked on, like you notice how you, you can't go anywhere else. You can only lock onto one system. Like it just circles it. All you have to do is press B on your controller or zero O if you're on PlayStation 5 and it unlocks it. You can go to any one you want. And so just follow that green line and you can't go to the blue one because we don't have a blue uh, warp drive, but we can go to the yellow one right before it. So let's just do that instead. That way you don't have to worry about, oh, I don't have the warp drive. I can't get to that. You don't even need to worry about it. Do not even worry about it. You don't need a red, a green, or a blue. All you can do is just go to a different star system that's nearby. Get a, Go to a yellow one that's close by and you're good. All right. And this one should jump us right to the fifth, uh, fifth uh, rendezvous. Let's go see. Oh, almost. That's the fifth rendezvous. But it's out of range. You see from the diamond, that's where we have to go. Oh, look at that, like barely, just barely. Look at that. Oh, no, don't go down there. That's the one danger of unlocking your camera. You can, you know, just go everywhere. So you might click on the wrong system. So be careful when you unlock that camera, you might be going wild and going to the system like way far away. Man, I can't believe it. We were like, what, like five or 50 light years away from where we need it to be? Come on. That's all right. One more jump. Get in here. 
One more jump, and we're going to be at the fifth rendezvous. This is the last one, you guys. It's a good system, too. Three-star system on that fifth rendezvous. I like that. So we'll get there. We'll do the log first, as always, then go down to the rendezvous. And then we're going to clean up the rest of what we need to do in this uh, in this phase, the last phase. Let's go to get the log. The freighter's master stands at ease. Yep. Let's get the ship's log. The data stamp, 2160.2. Arrived in the Karashi system. So we still, we, so still we sail on, still we search. There is an infinity of worlds, but there is only one home. We are scattered, but we are not destroyed. The others are out there somewhere. Each warp, each scan, each signal analyzed. The odds are low, but they are not zero. So we're looking for our family. Okay, so we're looking for the other people that came from our home planet. Got it. Let's grab that. Homeworld repeater, antimatter times 10. A uh, salvage hyperdrive upgrade. An orange paint. Oh, look at this is a Bob orange paint right here. Survival Bob orange. I like that. And we got a homeworld repeater. What is that? Oh, we have a hyperdrive as well. So let's pop that baby in there. Yeah, I'm glad they give you the hyperdrive when you get to the last one. We don't need to warp anymore. 10 antimatter. Wow. Uh, we, we have a lot of these already, right? Uh, freighter. All right, that's what I mean. We just have the one. Okay. And then we have the homeworld repeater. They give you one, so you're good to go. But in case anything happens to it, like if you sell it, you break it, or whatever, you destroy it, they also give you the blueprint as well. So you can make one. It's kind of a pain in the butt. You need some advanced stuff, like the hydraulic wiring is a kind of a pain in the butt to find. But you can make it if something happens to your homeworld repeater but they give you one by default you don't need to worry about it making it they already have you know they already gave you one so let's go down in here we need to go to that rendezvous where is my uh there it is right there let's head down to that rendezvous and i bet you it's gonna be underwater more than likely yep it looks like a water planet already anyway let's go oh we have a freighter right there and a space station we have a... Oh, wait a minute. We need, we need to buy some more frigates anyway. So let's buy these. How many frigates do we need? We need two more frigates. And I have six and a half million. Oh, we might be able to do this, you guys. Let's knock this out while we can. Oh, I'm hoping these are cheap. Please be cheap. Be like two million. Be like two million. Or like ten dollars. That'd be even better. Ten dollars. Um, five million. I'm not going to buy him. Screw that. I'm not buying that one. Let's see how much this one is. <laughs> Better be cheaper than five. Cheaper than five, please. Less expensive, for the love of God. 1.9, I'll take you. 1.9. I can't afford you. I can't afford you, so I'm leaving. Let's go back there. We need one more frigate. We'll be able to get it. Don't you worry, guys. We're gonna get it. So let's go to the rendezvous. All right, broke the atmosphere. And yeah, I'm guessing it's in the water. They're all freighters. And so this one's like right there, though. That's pretty good. I'll be able to just jump down in there and get it, right? Yeah, I think so. I don't even need my uh, submarine for this one. Let's do a shoulder thrust. There you are. And got a storm going. There we go. Done. That was easy enough. Let's head back up there. It's going to take us like 10 seconds. Look at that. Boom. Beautiful. Yep. Oh, the next one is expanding my frigate fleet. Oh, no. Oh, let's scan these animals. We can get some money. I forgot about that. We have all our scanner upgrades. I need to scan these guys and get some freaking money. What am I doing? Hunt or 78. I'll take that. That's 140. I'll take it. I'll take it. Give me the big worms over there. That's scary looking worms. 120. There you go. We just made a, a 250,000. Quarter of a million right there. Boom. All right. Oh, yeah, let's accept our uh, reward for getting the rendezvous. And done, done. There is no method to my madness on that, you guys. So don't, don't try to think overthink it. I'm just randomly selecting stuff. <laughs> All right. 
so now we need to get our uh expand our fleet well, let's make the other one let's do make contact i use my i'm guessing i have to use my homeworld repeater so i have that let's use it and now i need a pulse drive okay you got a pulse drive after you you, you use the uh repeater just so we can run into some kind of special thing okay let's see what is this the life raft The signal has led me to this huge ship, an interstellar life raft drifting slowly away from whatever cataclysm consumed its home planet. I'm gonna crash into it! There is no reply. I cycle across channels searching for some sign of life. Oh god, I did crash into it. Eventually, there is a signal in the static. Gravity divided us, and gravity will reunite us. There is a path. The message repeats, looping mindlessly. There was a, this was their final broadcast. Alongside the words, the message appears to contain a plans for some sort of technology. Let's see what that is. I do not know what fate befell this life raft, how long or how far they made it. Whatever this device is, it was their torch, their beacon, the thing that kept them going. I'm not sure what to tell the crew. All right, reunited with the lost. We got that one done and we have a singularity engine you guys so this is what we've been talking about since the endurance update came out we have to make the singularity engine and so to do that you need to actually have a war piper core which you need a storm crystal for if you don't know how to get storm crystals there is a link down below in the description to a fast way to do it basically go after the dihydrogen crystals they will randomly give you a storm crystal. But we can make it. We can make it, you guys. And remember, that's why we were trying to get those crystal sulfides crystals earlier. We need that. We need one hypercore and a ionized cobalt. We can make it. Let's call in our freight our uh, freighter. Okay, not. Object proxy. Oh, I'm too close to the uh anomaly object. Okay, fine. Let's go. Let's go over here then. Got a you know warp out. Oh, and then a, oh god, and then another frigate comes in or freighter comes in. Maybe I could buy one of these guys. Oh god, are you gonna be the expensive one? Please, for the love of God, be cheap. Be cheap. Two million. Two million. That's all I need. Two million. Come on. You are yes. Two million. We got it. We're done. Mission control command a fleet of eight frigates. Yes, we got it. Thank God. So now that's done over with. Now we need to go super luminal. We got to go super luminal. Oh yeah, let's accept those rewards. Duh. We have that one salvage frigate fuel. There we go. And we have this deep space, deep sleep cruise. We have our singularity engine. We are good to go. So the last thing we need to do is go super luminal. We have to go faster than the speed of light. Way faster. So let's go. Oh yeah, we have to talk to the captain. Where's the captain at? You have to talk to the captain in order to go super luminal right there. He can activate the engine. Let's go. I love that sound. Look at this music. Let's go. Oh, it cuts it off. Oh, come on. That would have been perfect. It cut off the music. I didn't do that. Dang it, John Murray. Got to fix that bug. Oh, cut off the good music while I was doing that. Oh, come on. I think we're done. Super luminal. Traveled via a wormhole. Done. Super luminal. There you go. We are done. So guys, let's see. We have our phase five reward, the seeker. 
Polestar Expedition decal planes and Polestar Expedition banner. We got all that stuff. Yeah, listen to that music. And now we have our Child of Helios companion egg. Let's collect that. Oh, man. We got it. We're good. The expedition is over. Congratulations, Traveler. All expedition goals complete. Your save will now convert to a standard save if you wish to continue. Earned rewards can be collected on any save via the Quicksilver Synthesis Companion. Be sure to check back for the start of a new expedition soon. Yeah, we got it. So we have our, our uh, egg, right? Come on, where's the egg? Oh, it's just, it just converts immediately. It converts immediately to a normal save, you guys. Holy crap. Now, I've heard that you have to complete all of the uh, milestones, even the optional one, in order for it to automatically convert over. But now I am on a normal save. Look at my expedition tab is gone. Awesome. Holy cow. That is crazy. But I don't have any of my... Uh... Oh, I do have my egg. There you go. My companion egg. Let's hatch this thing. Let's see. Can I hatch it in here? Can I hatch it? Now I can summon him. Cannot summon. Oh, no. Well, we need to go. We need to see our jellyfish. So I am going to finally, I haven't gone to the uh, space anomaly yet. I will finally go to the space anomaly, you guys. Let's go do that. Come on. Let's call him in. Right here. Because I know you can, you can uh, call in your pets on the space anomaly. So let's see what this guy looks like. I have him. Oh, I have all this stuff too. I could sell all my upgrades, salvage, hyperdrive upgrades, all that stuff. But I want my pet. I want to see my guy, my jellyfish. We gonna call him what? Jelly Belly? It probably has to be Jelly Belly, right? Or Jim the Jellyfish. Look at that. That is awesome. Feeling ravenous. Jelly Pat. Give him some treats. I love that. And you cannot ride your jellyfish. Cannot ride here. Oh, wait a minute. Can I ride a jellyfish? Oh, guys. We are going to ride a jellyfish. You know we're going to. Come on. Jelly Belly. Let's go. And we're going to go ride a jellyfish. Oh, yes. This is too perfect. We're going to land right here. Get you guys out here. Hello. Can I ride? Please. You can ride the jellyfish. Oh, God. That's very weird. That is an awkward flight. What in the world? <laughs> yeah, you can't control it very well either. Holy cow. Oh, you can. You can suggest directions. <laughs> but uh, that doesn't mean they're going to follow it. Oh, my God. We're going to crash into the ground. Come on. I'm trying. I'm trying. Look at that. Right into the... Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> into the... I think I'm too heavy. I'm just too heavy for them. And <laughs> they're going to make me crash into the ground. Holy cow. So that is how to complete the expedition. Hopefully, you guys liked the video. If you did, hit that like button. And I will see you guys in the next one.